cloudy close. It's a beautiful day outside and it's the weekend. Perfect time to watch a Christmas skit. Oh, but one thing. We aren't celebrating Christmas this time around. Why? Obviously, because it's 2022. The teenagers have to prepare for their board exams and Santa Claus doesn't exist. What's the point in celebrating Christmas? Doesn't seem like anyone wants to. Yeah, you can't be using your phone at school, man. Whoa, like I, I called you, man. I was saying something. What is it? Yeah. What is the meaning of life? Dude, you asked so many times. There is no meaning. There is only God knows. But suppose God doesn't exist because... Hey, that because it's from the entire point of Christmas. It's now your time here. <laughs> anyway, let's say God doesn't exist. Because if you introduce God into this conversation now, there's no point in this discussion. Fine. So, so from my findings, your life is what you make it. Ironically, the meaning of life is to pursue its meaning. And those who so find its meaning. Wow, the floor here is made of wood. Might sound obvious, but it's not. Huh? No, 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 it's not a very philosophical beat to me. Anyway, the meaning of life, as I said, is to search for it your entire life, and that way you will definitely find that meaning. You mean you find your you find your meaning when you die? So the meaning of life is dead? No, I will not keep it on my head. Why am I not here for lunch? Bro, show me!
You rap about consumerism and crimes. It's crude and retaining, disguised in the form of crimes. Modern hip hop or this all with the devil's cosign. Y'all being created with the media stream beyond the minds. What's a real for with the dying words of some god keys and necklace? For wasting time to satisfy foolish not slimes or reckless. When they take me back in days, you waste moments of penance. In a deep path, all y'all should be known and never use that even in society. Traveling in your own sobriety. But it is for a game of variety. You worship your money with a diary. It's tired. Because every single one of you probably went brands for a reason when you're dying and messing again. You think about that, the blues from the land of the world. It's all the time. It's all the time. It's all the time. It's all the time. Don't tell me your face must shout. The Lord is looking for a lover when your fans want you to come up with life. So stop gaping and asking the question now, what is the meaning of life? Well, Kate, you got some of the fire bars and you'll join us sometime. Your homie, you have a little bit of a hit The part where you went fast like zoom, that kind of didn't understand the sound. <laughs> Anyway, I'm perplexed, you won't even decide to do this show. No man, fire, you're a fire. You asked for the meaning of life. Well, the meaning of life, I guess, you live what you want, do what you do, or want to do. But isn't that a tad bit self-indulgent? Like, how's the lifestyle for food? I don't know man, but it's just me and them, we like living in the moment. It's fun, simple, and cool. But think of it this way. Even a second in the past lies in the past, but you don't even notice it go past you. Similarly, a second in the future lies in the future, but you don't even consider it worth something, right? Dude, you're confusing. I didn't understand it. <laughs> no, listen to me. The present is where the past and the future converge. We're always constantly moving in and toward the future. You know, we still be tripping on some sci-fi time traps. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you're wasting your time. It's... Well... Man, I don't like worrying much, but that helps us all cope. It connects with all of us, man. That's how we live in the streets. So you just can't live in the society? That's not living life, man. That's escaping into your own world. Call it escapism or whatever, I don't care. But if this ain't life, I really don't know what is. I find that selfish answer quite plausible, gentlemen. Thank you for your time. So they've found their purposes in life, huh? Not very defined, but one might be judge. Sam goes home, snacks on a samosa, and sits for his online classes. Then he has dinner with his family and goes to bed. The next day, Sam wakes up, brushes his teeth, puts on his clothes, eats breakfast, and sets off to school. What about that? Uh, he takes bath once in four or five days. Busy boy life. Anyway, Sam arrives at school. It appears that Jack hasn't arrived yet. Hey, Jenna. What's up? You were absent yesterday? Yeah, we had to go to the church to help out with the food separation. Sheesh! Sounds like a hassle, man. Hey, you brought samosas. Yeah, dude, you always love samosas. Thanks. Wow, here comes someone who loves samosas too. We're getting a chair from the other class. Not sharing with you. <laughs> oh, buzz off. Set it down, class. I just corrected your papers. What is this? All of your papers. Except for Jack. Good job, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of boring math later. <laughs> Jenna, what's the meaning of life? Shush! Kebab? What? No, nah, that's shush kebab right there. Oh. The meaning of life is kebab? How crazy do you all go for food? <laughs> Oh, I was just responding to Jack's Okay, but I asked the question. Hmm, I think the meaning of Christmas is not the meaning of life. And what would that be? See, you see, Jesus Christ was... Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. Let's do this again. But this time, omit God. Omit God? Bro, God is the creator. God gives purpose. If God is out of the picture, there's no purpose. 
But all we saw, God is the only entity who defines our purpose in life. So that really not a suitable meaning. No way. God is absolute. We live to serve God with all our heart, mind, strength and soul. Sure, Jack, but they won't be blind to yourself. I respect your purpose makes swath for biryani. Bro, Muslims make better biryani. That's why I respect them all. <laughs> Seems like there's no getting to the ear of you, huh? What do you mean? Chana, I asked you to answer my question, omitting God, but you just can't. The brain is hardware to process everything with God rather than practical knowledge. Isn't that a good thing? Wow. Sam, maybe you are looking in the wrong places. What do you mean the wrong places? There are so many people who give you the wrong answer if you plainly ask them for the meaning of life because they don't know the goodness of God. Okay, I see you have to. Yes, there are people using their lives to fulfill their fantasies. Okay, but I wouldn't call that wrong. Okay, even if you say I have no grounds to call it wrong, it's included. God obviously has plans for them, but they are only hardening their hearts. If the truth, they are wrong. Anyway, thank you, Jenna. Hmm? You answered my question and it wasn't what I expected, but I will do need an answer. Hmm, Sam, maybe why don't you ask God if you really want to do the answer? God hears God and prayers. <coughs> sure. A few hours later, school ends. Jenna took the school bus while Jack and Sam were walking their own ways. His sister, who was supposed to be in the college job, had surprisingly paid a visit home. After Sam's online classes, the family had gathered for dinner. Hey Sarah, what's the meaning of life? Sam, are you seriously still asking about that? Have you, you know, tried and asked God yet? Not yet, no. Not like you'll whisper into my ear. You'll never know. We named you after the Lord, Sam. You know what? Yeah, yeah. God called out him in the middle of the night. You've told me this story so many times. Sarah, when I ask people about the meaning of life, they always introduce God to me. But what would be the meaning of life if you overlook God? That's silly, Sam. After dinner, Sarah did the dishes while Sam went up to his bedroom. A few minutes later, he hears a knock on the door. Come in. Sir, I asked for your perspective on the meaning of life. Leave God out of this. Take this one. Now you go pretend you didn't hear me. What book? Enthusiastic. Wow. Wisdom is meaningless. Pleasures are meaningless. Toils are meaningless. But it's not really it. How could it be so simple? What do you mean? This man has written life all as meaningless. Yes, but that's not it. That night, Sarah and Sam read and discussed the first chapter of Ecclesiastes. Sarah clarified that the intention of Solomon in writing in the book of Ecclesiastes was to bring to light that the human understanding of the meaning of life is full of errors and that life is meaningless without God in the picture. Then close with prayer. Later that night, Sam stayed up all night reading Ecclesiastes and admiring Solomon's cynical postulations. He accepted that life is meaningless if he does not acknowledge God. He prayed once more on his own, switched off the nightclub, put the Bible on the table beside him and went to sleep. Naturally, when he woke up, he was dead tired. He brushed his teeth, puts on his clothes, eats breakfast and sets off to school. What about bath? Bath during weekends only. Jenna, guess what? I found the meaning of life. What? 
sad. Life is inherently meaningless. But with God, it can be made meaningful. Wow, Sam, you Wow, you have improved in one night. I'm so proud of you. Me no understand. Me find meaning of life. Sure, it's good for you. But Sarah, you said that the meaning of life lies in the meaning of Christmas, right? How so? Hmm? What is the meaning of Christmas? You see, bro, the gospel says that Jesus, the Son of God, came to this earth and to live as a sinner sinless man and to be the ultimate sacrifice for our sins and redeem us from the death. And this is what Christmas is all about. It's not about the celebration. It's about, it's not about the celebration. It's about remembering what Christ has done for us on the cross and through his resurrection. And honestly, I think Christmas should be more of an attitude than a festivity because it's crucial to remember the birth of Christ every day. Uh, so, to summarize what you said, we have an established hope of living eternally with God, and Christmas highlights that hope. Okay, but then what is the purpose of living life on earth? Are we living just to survive? In Matthew, Jesus gives us a command to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, no, we are not living just for the sake of survival. We live to proclaim the glory of God to all the blind people out there in the world, so that they may repent and taste the eternal life. Wow, is that a memory verse? Yeah, but then are we supposed to store all of God's words in our hearts and minds? True. Day by day, Sam grew up the Lord. It all started from that one curious question, what is the meaning of life? After that, Sam allowed God to walk with people and to show him the truth. Every day, Sam wakes up, waiting upon the next day the Lord teaches him. The end.